Hey guys, it's Roger's one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. I am a little bit ill at the moment. Yes, I know. I'm always ill. I never seem to be well. It's all good though. I'm through the worst of it, I think. I've got a little bit of a sore throat still. A little bit of a sort of funny voice going on. Uh, but I'm sort of past the, the bunged up stage and the actual cold part. I think. I hope. At least. I'm in a bit of an interior... Oh, hang on. Why does... Why does this only have one beacon? fixed haha <laughs> the whole city is now completed end of the series no i'm kidding um i'm in a bit of an interior mood today we've just finished the interior to the uh bowling alley over there and it was actually really fun to do i actually really enjoyed doing the interior and i thought i want to do another one so we're gonna have a go at starting the cathedral interior just because i think it'd be a really cool one to have because we've got three big open doors here and it's such a big building a staple in our city i think an interior really would make sense so inside here as you can see i haven't been in here for literally probably about four years we built this this cathedral about four years ago on the city uh so we're not going to really be able to do an interior that's going to line up with all of the windows you know how we done the the bowling alley we sort of planned out the the interior first which is a, quite a good way sometimes to do not always but sometimes it's a good way to do it but because we built this so long ago we didn't really ever plan an interior for it so some things are going to be a little bit awkward to do for example these black bits here i don't really know how we're going to cover those up yeah i still want to keep them i don't want to change the exterior and we're not going to be able to get everything to line up for example this area up here with these windows we might actually just block off and just not have this part accessible that's absolutely fine to do you don't need to have absolutely every window in a place accessible when you're doing an interior to a building just make it so what is done looks really cool so i've removed these sort of guidelines that we had from when we first planned the building and the same here we definitely want to remove this one i might keep the other three though so what i'm thinking is a little bit of an entryway here right some nice benches and and and, and just sort of maybe a statue in the middle here something that you can sort of walk around and then this part is going to be the main part of the cathedral so obviously we're going to want to have some some pews uh, and some pillars I think are the two main things now I'm not sure what blocks I want to use I think obviously stone brick just generally makes a lot of sense in a stone brick building obviously the the dark brown here will be perfect for the pews not sure on a floor color yet maybe a light wood maybe a gravel could look quite nice sort of a looks a bit cobblestoney very old feeling uh, maybe some gray wool or maybe we go another way and we do a, a little bit more sort of color a little bit more clay like i think clay could look quite cool do a little bit of a a, a basic tiled pattern i know in some of these cathedrals you get these these nice big tiles going on i don't know it's gonna be a tricky one to sort out but I think I want pillars. Yeah, we sort of had a guide of pillars here. We could sort of stick with that because that's going to line up in line with this, this sort of support here. So we could have a pillar going up there and a pillar going up there. And then we have pews, stairs, going something like maybe three there and three there. That leaves us, again, quite a perfect number. Three blocks down the middle. So a three, a three, and a three going going down the sort of the, the main chamber leave these parts open because it's nice to have a sort of walk space down the side and it would be really cool if we could make these into big arches that maybe even line up with the windows that could be quite cool so if i put one there right, get it in line with that one we put one there and that's in line with the sort of glass area we might even i think this glass is meant to be there i think that's why i shortcut and glassed up all of the windows at the same time and it put those ones in that's fine to fix we won't worry about that now so if i put that there now that's in line with that one and then we put this one here and it's in line with that one that one goes there this one goes here and this one goes here probably just fill those in right so that's going to be like that and we have the same down the other side big sort of archways but what would be really cool is if those archways then had a balcony on top now it's a little bit tight on space obviously we can't get the the balcony to come up here because it wouldn't make any sense it'd be way too high so let's let's do an arch here 
let's do this um you know what we could even add some logs in some wooden logs that could be really cool let's say we had a top like this and we we formed that into a nice arch let's get a night vision potion for you guys it's not terribly dark in here but uh i think this will make it a little bit better there we go so we make that into a nice arch and then we have a balcony area here now that's a, a sort of nice amount of headroom we do want to not maybe not necessarily cover up this but make it more appealing so maybe where these come out here we make this into uh like uh like beams that go across do you know do you know what i mean so something like that i think maybe making those out of wood would make a lot of sense i can't remove oh i can remove that and i can remove that oh can i do that on all of them oh no that would be cool because then we could put actual oops actual logs that sink into it oh excellent okay wood um i think oak it's a little bit lighter it looks a little bit drier of a wood so we put this over here Wrong way. Oh, now that's cool. Do we even want to? Let's put these along here. Ah, now that's really cool. So we can have that going along the wall, and and I think that's pretty much going to neaten this up as much as we sort of need it. I could probably even get away with dropping this down by a block. And then we can have some wood going along here. Let's do a little section first. Slab and stair. Again, we'll set up the sort of look and then we'll add in all the detail afterwards. So that, and a, probably a slab there. I think that's a nice arch. It gives us enough room to do some detail. Just some simple bits even like that because this is what we've got on the outside if you look on the exterior of the building here we've got the same sort of slab thing going on all the way up and everywhere look so if we done that in here as well it makes it all sort of the same throughout yeah so we have that like that we have that on there and then i think we'll probably go up like this and join those up to there and up to here oh that goes right into that you know that's okay if we do that probably put that back there for the minute i think that looks better just having a little beam going on a small a slightly smaller one than what we originally planned and that's going to be where that goes okay and then we get a nice fence just a normal fence there and that will go on there I really like that now we can dress up the pillars a little bit more using different stone blocks so we can that's a monster egg one we want like a normal one and I think maybe either putting them at the bottom or one up would make a lot of sense I think I think one up would probably look the nicest and the same up here I think I might put these ones in the middle so it's like log brick chiseled brick and then a fence so it's like like bang in the middle of those two I just when you get it all going like that i think it'd look pretty nice so on the inside of the balcony area here we get some slabs i think wood up here would make a lot of sense instead of stone you're not going to be able to get stone up here very easily if you're thinking about the sort of real world so we'll put these like this makes a very nice sized balcony you'll be able to see down into the middle a little bit uh i think this part actually looks quite cool in fact we might even put the stone back in here cool if i could get it up there i can't though oops i don't break too much like like that looks really cool oh i think i like that just a slab there instead it doesn't matter about this little hole here i think that sort of keeps the look of it of the sort of edge going on now i could just fill this in like this but is there something cooler that we can do with it is there something a little bit more interesting can we put oil or, or glowstone glowstone in the middle of these and oops, and there 
that's obviously going to be like that and then on either side we have something uh, another different block a clay i think could work out quite well here like a cyan clay Oop, i threw a block cyan clay on the sides of these and then a trap door just to cover up a normal standard trap door i think to go over the glowstone here they almost look like little lanterns in here. I think that works out quite well. I think that works out well. So then this one here, I think we simply just fill in. I don't think there's really anything we, more we want to do with this part. I fell down. Like that. So we're sort of walking on this level here. I think we can get some... Oh, I've already got that slab. Just some more stuff going on. Some more general, like, bits poking out. I think that's cool. We'll then add that. And the slab. Going down on these. That's going to look really nice. Okay, let us let me just do that on this side and this side. And we'll do a bit of a jump cut and I'll be back, okay? Alright, just popping the pews down here. Because we've, like, accidentally, <laughs> again, uh, sort of spaced out these uh, in, a, in a good way for us. It, it works out perfectly. We've got a pew in line with the pillar. And then a gap pew, gap pew. And then a pew in line with the pillar again. So it, it, it's worked out to be like mathematically really nice. But how cool does this look? Even with like the floor being grass, we're starting to get a really cool feeling going on now. Now above these logs, we don't want to be able to see all of this going on up there. We want to put an actual ceiling uh, on top of this. And I think again, these little wooden slabs or wooden blocks even probably in most cases just sitting on top will be absolutely fine so we'll have it like this if we do a little section like this and then we have this on top of here and then we have this coming back down again and also i thought lighting in here we can actually probably get away with using torches to light up a lot of this area which would be really nice it's sort of old and medieval and stuff so like on parts of like pillars and stuff uh, we can light up with torches and then we don't have to worry too much about doing some creative hidden lighting because the torches just sort of make sense oh night vision talking about light yeah see that will run all the way along there and it'll it'll just make everything feel a little bit more uh, a more tighter which is a weird word to use for cathedral but having like a huge amount of space above these uh, logs just wouldn't make sense now because we've used cyan next to these lights here we're going to really want to have to integrate more cyan into other places in the build as well just to make it like 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 suit fit line up a little bit better oh also a little tip here oh yeah it's perfect so a little tip i was going to say is if you ever get stuck with doing an interior have a look at the exterior and see if you can integrate some blocks that you've used there or some some designs that you've got so i've just spotted these uh these walls here if we can use some of these walls on the interior we've already got the same texture going on on those slabs so that'll be nice but a thing that i thought of was at the bottom of some of these I think we used some um, some stairs at, at, at the bottom. I'm sure we did somewhere. Anyway, that's what I'm sort of thinking to doing inside. If we get these these stairs and we just pop them like this. Something like that. We'll do some on the other side. And maybe, maybe run slabs next to them as well. But I think if you look on the outside, see that we've got these slabs here. The slightly different texture ones. If we put these on either side, there we go. Now it's it, it's not too much of a transition when you come into this building now because it's going to suit what the the outside looks like. Okay, really really cool. I really really like this. So we've got the ceiling to put on. We've got a nice amount of sort of walkway. Oh, I missed these ones. I forgot to do these up here. Now, I, I want to get this part, this walkway, just looking nice. And then I don't need to worry about it anymore. So, is there anything more that we really need to do in here? I don't know if there is. I mean, some paintings on the wall here would just sort of make it work out. Even if we done, uh, if we alternated it between a nice shelf 
And then, oh, if we do it in these parts, have a nice shelf and then a painting. And then a shelf and then a painting and then a shelf. And we get a painting back. Oh, if I could spell, we get a painting. Don't forget about that wall. I want that wall. Just a nice little one wide one. Yeah, like that. And a nice little one wide one like that. And a nice little one wide one like that. Even got three different ones. That's cool. Uh, and then in these parts, flower, oops, flower pot. And I don't know. We'll just grab a couple of different colored. How many do we have? Three. A few different colored tulips. We'll have a, a pink one, an orange one, and a red one. And I'm going to put that there. And then in this one, I'm going to put it on the right-hand side. And then on this one, I'm going to put it in the middle. So they're just in different spots. There we go. Just when you're looking down it now, it looks a little bit sort of more interesting. Uh, I'm thinking this looks a little bit dull here. How that's sort of flush with this part. So maybe... I wonder if we could arch that part as well, in fact. Even if it was a gentle arch. Like... Um, Oh, it would be the same as well. Oh, now that looks really, that looks really cool, hey? Absolutely. So I've got that to do. I'm going to do sort of another jump cut in a minute when we get enough stuff for me to do. We've got the ceiling to do. We've got these arches to do. I've got the painting and the shelves to do. Now let's think about the uh, ground floor here. Obviously, we want to cover these up. But I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to or not, but I'm thinking about sort of doing these same pillars, but out here. Now, it does thin up the walkway a little bit. However, once you get enough of them in, I think it'll look okay. Let's just try it down one side, and then we'll have a look. Because you don't need to walk down. You've got the middle part to really walk down it, but I just wanted a little bit of space on the side. You see how much, see, it just gives you so much depth, you see, with the, with the pillar there as well. It's really, it is really nice. And then we can do something so, even if it's, if it's stone or, or wood. I think integrating some more wood in would be nice. Just like little mini beams going on. It just breaks up all of the plank sort of look that we had going on up there. Would it be better like that? No. Mm. Splash. What one do I prefer? Do I prefer like that or do I prefer like that? I think I prefer, I think it makes more sense like that. So I'm going to do it like that. Even put, um, what if we done the walls underneath those? Might not like it. I think I will like it, though. Yeah, oh, I do like that. That's really cool. We're getting this sort of optical illusion as we're looking down here, yeah? Because it, it's sort of the same at each sort of spot you do. Okay, that's really cool. So what if we dress up the, the floor here as well? Um, what have you got for this? I mean, I mean, a light... You want a light block, really. You don't want something too dark. I mean... Normal clay would actually be a really good start. If we just made the whole lot clay, and then maybe we can dress it up from there. So I'm just going to sort of do a section. Like that. Okay, I like that. It's actually maybe a little bit too light at the moment. So we're going to have to try and darken it up a little bit. I'm not quite sure how. I didn't expect that. What if we mixed in, we, we stick with the clay, but we mix in a little bit of light grey, which is a little bit of a darker sort of, a slightly darker, a little bit more textured. Some of this. So we've got three blocks, if I get these out of the way. You guys can see the sort of uh, colours that we're, we're trying to pick out. Maybe a cracked in there, here and there. Not a mossy though. Mossy doesn't make sense because it's mossy is water-like. Uh, 
that's going to be a little bit too smooth. We'll give it a look, but it might be a little bit too smooth. And I don't think gravel is really going to make too much sense. Okay, let's... Oh, I've already, I've already selected it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we want... We want... Uh, 98.2. I'm just going to write these down so I can uh, type them in. Clay, 35.8. Uh, 35, 8, 112 and 48, set 112, 48, 98, 2, 35, 8, and clay. That's so cool, that's so good. I really, it's darkened up the look, it's got a very oldie time feel to it, definitely. I really like that. That's really cool. Okay, so we're going to definitely want to put this at least here as well. Oh, now that's so cool. I re And we'll probably have it in the center square as well. I'm keeping these walls here because we'll probably have like a dining room on one side. And then the room where you actually sign the paperwork when you get married and all that on the other side. Now that... That is so cool. What a great floor. Okay, and then down the sides here. You know what? I'll come back. Let me let me do the stuff that we've got planned, and I'll come back, all right? All right, here we are. All of the arches done, the roof on, the pillars done on both sides with the little logs underneath. It's all matching. It's all symmetrical, as far as I know. Uh, I went with a little uh, white flower, a little blue one, and then a cactus in that one. Just to switch up, and I've got the paintings on that side as well. Now... I'm thinking, you know how we've got these fences down here? What if we put the fences on the... I keep coming up with these ideas and I keep wanting to add them. And I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't add them now. Add them when, when you're recording. Add them when people can see. So I'm thinking these along here. Bringing a little bit more depth to the, to the ceiling. You can see that looks cool. Just a little bit sort of more on there. Something else sort of catching your eye. And then... You know how we've got these sorts of slabs going on here? These sort of uh, nether ones? Well, I'm thinking about putting these on either side of the beams here. They look like they're sort of holding the beams in place. Like that's what the, the beams sort of uh, position themselves. So we'll put these on either side of these. Also adds, it makes a little bit, and it's hard to see, but a little bit of a sort of arch going on on top of the arch. Just sort of a slight one. It's very subtle. Not many people will notice it, but you can see now that we've put them down, uh, what's sort of going on there. Really cool. Now, we've got a little bit of life, a little bit of greenery going on. I really like how light and and, and, and uh, friendly this cathedral looks. It's not a scary cathedral. It's meant to be a happy place, but there's no colour. It's, it's greys and browns. So... I'm thinking in either side of the window here, we put like a load of a load of uh, leaf kind of uh, bushes going on. And I'm thinking because it's a, a cathedral, we use the old Eye of Ender portal and leaf combination. S how we like how we done very recently in the town hall. I don't think that interior is done yet, is it? Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I got a little bit lost on the uh, town hall interior. I didn't quite know exactly how I wanted it to go. So I've sort of left it for a while until I, I rethink it. Oh, but someone did have a really cool idea um, about a PvP uh, uh, area. So, like, you know how we've got, like, weapons. We, we've got all the gun, guns and stuff like that. Uh, but someone said, what about, like, um, like a, a boxing area, like a boxing PvP where you can use, like, normal weapons? Uh, everybody likes a bit of normal PvP, so we could do a little bit of an underground, like, fight club. For those of you that seen have seen that movie, uh, like an underground sort of fight scene. Uh, that could be really cool to do as well. And uh, I'm sure we could find maybe a abandoned warehouse or something like that, that holds, like, a, an arena inside of it. So you can fight with, um, uh, without weapons, without guns and stuff. Or maybe unarmed comp. Oh, how do we have nunchucks or something like that? Or, or like um, melee weapons. I bet we. Do. I bet there is some melee weapons actually. Oh, that would be really cool. Uh, where would we want to go for that? Oh, I bet we do. Uh, we're gonna want like somewhere here. 
I there definitely there'd be something that would be really cool to do. Or maybe in the prison in Alcatraz, in, in Alcatraz prison that could work as well. Ah, see that greenery is really what that's just give a little bit of life to the area, yeah? a little bit, a little bit of sort of more friendliness going on. Still want some more color, but I'm not quite sure what yet. In fact, the color could potentially be on the back wall. Like if we, when we make this into the actual wall here, um, when we're looking down it, we could have uh, some kind of, of uh, figure or, or shape or something on there with a little bit of color, a little bit of sort of red, a little bit of yellow, something to sort of a, a bit bright on there. So we're looking down here, you can see it. That's so cool though. That is where we're gonna have to, apart from lighting, let's think about lighting very quickly. We're gonna have to leave the episode off really soon. Let's get some torches. I think that this, because of the amount of wood that we've got in here, I think, to ooh, splash, <laughs> I think some torches can just be nicely either placed on there like that or we place them on like that. Oh, I like that. So we place these on here. All the way down there. All the way up here. Those uh, those bushes really helped, huh? Really, really helped. Um, like that. I got it. I think in between the bushes, a nice sort of table. I might make it out of oak wood, though, as opposed to using the dark wood that we're using for the chairs. So we could do like a stair and a slab. You could add infinite, absolute infinite amount of detail in in a space like this. You could keep adding little lips and little corners uh, and little um, uh, like beams uh, and, and everything. You, you could just go on forever. There's going to be a point where we're just going to have to say, you know what, that this will this will do. This will be nice for us because um, I'm only one person. <laughs> I can't do it forever. I could spend probably easy 10, 15 episodes on a, on an interior the size of this. And just keep adding more and more detail. Okay, I think that... Again, the light wood is matching in with all the fences and stuff. That looks really nice. I think that's a really cool start to our cathedral interior, don't you think? Well, that for a thumb shot, a thumbnail. Boom. All right, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!